Great little explosion there, took advantage of an opening. Oh, he's, he's going for the Peruvian necktie. Can he finish it? He it loves looks like the he's Peruvian got it. necktie. It looks like he's got it. He's tapping it's it. It's all over. Look how he sets it up. He wraps that right leg around the, the head right there and pulls the head down and squeezes it. He's got the left leg in there. It's a very, very tight Peruvian but necktie. And this could be bad, bad news for Shia Roos and the Magomedov trying to get that rear naked choke. He's kind of in an awkward position, but looks stop, like he's stop, stop, it. Stop. That's it. Roos tried to turn his back, but that only opened up a rear naked choke for Habib Nurmagomedov, and uh, here he is with the positioning, and it's game over. And Shalarouche, not an easy guy to finish, submitted here tonight for the first time. I mean, the, the machine is the most important thing, right. and his, his body, his ability to move his body is excellent. Now it's just about learning those techniques. He's out. It is all over. Open St. Cruz. Oh, wow. We didn't even see that. You know, he was doing the Von Flew choke. We rarely see that choke. Jason Von Flew, if you're at home watching this, we named this after you, buddy. You're the first wow. guy I've ever seen pull this off. Really unusual choking. That's why you don't hold on to a guillotine when a guy is inside you. Not now. The knee is a little bit further down on the crotch. He's out of it, but he's got to be careful here because oh, Oliver's going to take his back. Let go of it. Let go of it. Man, nice transitioning and it's all over. Oh, wow. He had his leg locked in a terrible position there, and he's forced to tap. He's got the legs triangled. Look at the pressure on the knee of Wisely, and you see the, the strain in his face. And how's he pulled him back? He's going to sneak out. We'll see if Ben tries to use this as an opportunity to stand back up. He's going to work for an omoplata here. Very rarely do we see this finish a fight, but he's got it wrapped up, puts tremendous pressure. Maybe thought about tapping for a second, open that palm. I have a good look at his face here, cage side, and you can see his eyes squinting hard. He is in pain. And, and Ben pushes down. Ten seconds now. He's setting up a twister, it looks like. He is. He's got a twister. Oh! Final seconds of the round. Trying oh, to he's get got it. Hit it! Oh! Chan Sung Jung by submission. And then transitions into the twister, as Joe talked about. And he's able to finish the submission and win the fight with one second. There'll be an issue the longer this and, fight goes on. And we've seen OSP submit people with the Von Flu choke in this similar position, but then he's been in full side control. He's trying to block the airway right now with his left shoulder, and it's getting tight. <laughs> got it! As he was looking for the pass, the Lima chooses to have that left arm over the top of the head. That allows OSP to put that left shoulder right in the esophagus, shut down the blood and the airway. Since 1997, now entering his 20th year as a professional mixed martial artist. I mean, this is great grappling, just using those punches to move himself into the mount position, but he has the he It's hard to understand how he can be mounted so easy, but it was all part of the master plan. He already has the choke in on the bottom. Victor Pesta starts to punch and realizes, wait, he's actually got me. I thought he has the ability to do some amazing things for a big man his size. Look at that, look at that. Looking for it quickly, he's got it spun. Can he finish? Here's the tap. Oh my, how quick was that? How good was that? How dominating was that? He has that arm torn outward. Look at him controlling the hip. And Pete Williams has enough. And pulling.